Farm News Media presents Farm News 5. From mitigation efforts, we're going to make sure that agriculture doesn't bear the brunt by itself of any kind of retaliatory measures. China's proposed tariffs moved markets. Sign up for the new Margin Protection Program begins this month, and Michigan Ag Commodities' Chris Betts has a look at market activity. I'm Janelle Bros, and this is Farm News 5. Solar Land Use Agreements 101. Learn what you need to know from energy attorney Scott Story at fosterswift.com. USDA Secretary Sonny Perdue was in Michigan this week making stops at Michigan State University, Clemens Pork Processing Plant, and Mastronardi Produce. Along the way, he tried to reassure farmers rattled by recent tariff announcements by China, which would impact fruit growers and Michigan's pork and soybean industries. Well, I think there's cause for anxiety. Obviously, uh, our administration is going to continue to uh, uh, try to negotiate with China to relieve uh, us of their unfair trade practices. The president uh, does want free trade, but he wants fair trade most of all. And we've certainly seen some situations, whether it be steel, aluminum, or intellectual property where China has not played by the rules. And the fact is, the problem is, our American producers are so productive, they're always at the tip of the spear over any kind of retaliatory action. China's announcement Wednesday that they intend to impose a 25% tariff on U.S. beef and soybean imports had an immediate impact on markets. China accounts for 50% of the export market, which is uh, one-third of our total U.S. production on soybeans. The initial impact was uh, significantly down in the futures market, over 55 cents. Uh, it created a lot of uncertainty there. We haven't seen much ripple effect yet in the basis of the market, the cash market yet, because you know we're still in that 60-day uh, window before this could even be imposed. But it's created anxiety, and uh, that's what we're going to the issue we have to deal with moving forward here. They can try to get more beans out of Brazil or Argentina, maybe more meal out of Argentina than normally it would. But they, in the bottom line is, their demand is so huge, they still have to come to the U.S. Even China, uh, processors in China will end up paying more for beans. So they'll still have to do that, though. What we'll see is tariffs are like an increase in freight rates. That's what happens. So what impacts the farmer is not so much always the fluctuation of futures price, but it'll drive basis levels down. So that's what we could see if these tariffs do go through. Dairy producers are encouraged to consider enrolling in the new and improved margin protection program for dairy. The enrollment period will run from April 9th through June 1st. Well, you understand that dairy farmers are under a good bit of stress, and unfortunately the MPP uh, dairy program, uh, the risk management program, was not as successful and not as helpful as many had hoped in the 14 Farm Bill. I think with the uh, changes that Congress made in this latest bill that was passed and the budget bill, the mitigation or the efforts over MPP of improvements. Hopefully dairy farmers will see that's something to invest in and to utilize from their perspective. We think it gives them, particularly for the smaller family dairies, uh, gives them a lot of relief and uh, risk management tools that they could utilize. We hope they'll sign back up and not look at this as the old MPP program. Dairy operations must make a new coverage election for 2018, even if enrolled during the previous 2018 sign-up period. Coverage elections made for 2018 will be retroactive to January 1st of this year. Locally owned Michigan agricultural commodities facilities will take part in the Stand Up for Grain Engulfment Prevention Week of Awareness, April 9th through the 13th. Events will focus on worker protection and ways to reduce injuries and prevent fatalities from engulfment or activities related to working around grain bins. Suffocation from engulfment is a leading cause of death in grain bins. It's also preventable. On Wednesday, April 11th, every MAC facility will host a safety stand up to remember those who have lost their lives in bin incidents and to discuss the importance of safety in the workplace. With a look at the latest market activity, here is Michigan Ag Commodities' Chris Betts. Thanks, Janelle. 
Soybean futures plummeted early Wednesday in response to the Chinese tariff as talks of an all-out trade war gained steam. May beans fell over 50 cents, but would climb back throughout the day session to close down less than a quarter. Cooler heads prevailed as the rebound would continue in the overnight and day session Thursday. Trade figures to be volatile moving forward as traders contemplate the actual impact of a tariff, if in fact implemented. Spillover selling in soy hurt corn Wednesday, but China isn't a significant importer of U.S. corn, so the Chinese tariff on U.S. corn doesn't carry much weight. Abnormally cold U.S. temps and delayed planting will help support corn. Trader focus will be on U.S. weather, as South American conditions are stable. Wheat also will not feel much influence from the Chinese tariff talk. Dry conditions in the U.S. plains remain supportive, with Kansas City futures back on the upswing in the short term. Same old story, however, a world of wash in wheat and increased U.S. acres from last year to boot. For more market information, go to michigan.com. With Michigan Agricultural Commodities, I'm Chris Betts. For more news and video, visit michiganfarmnews.com and the Michigan Farm Bureau channel on YouTube. With Farm News 5, I'm Janelle Bros. Have a great week of farming.